Hi guys, I'm playing around with lemon batteries at the moment for one of my projects. Uh, had a couple of comments about electrolytes and the fact that although it's a lemon battery, or that's what it's commonly called, the actual power is coming from the zinc coated nail and the copper wire that's actually pushed into the lemon and the electrolyte between the two is what's actually generating the current and the voltage. So just for, um, well because I'm on the subject, what I'll try is just put some electrolyte in this plastic tray, uh, which will be vinegar and water. There's not very much vinegar left in there, so I'm going to have to um, mix it with water and just see what we get from this bit of copper and this zinc nail. What I'll actually do is connect them to this bit of wire and poke them through the lid just to make sure they stay apart. And the reason I'm going to do that is after I've done it with that copper and that zinc, I'm going to try this pack of scourers. Now, I very much doubt whether that's genuinely copper in the middle there, and I've no idea whether there's any zinc there, but I just thought I'd give them a try and see if they are actually different types of metal. Because if they're different types of metal, there's a good chance we'll get some sort of um, current flow between them. So first of all we'll just try real copper and real zinc and then we'll see what else happens. Right, that's our wires connected to the zinc nail and the copper wire and then connected up to the meter. There's no electrolyte in there yet so we've got no current flow, no voltage. Uh, the reason I'm doing it in this container is if I can get a reasonable amount of voltage out of it. I may try putting wheels on it and getting it to drive a motor. Probably have to do the same as I'm doing with the lemon powered car. have to get it to charge a battery first and then drive itself forwards. I've just added some water to my vinegar because there isn't enough vinegar in there to actually do anything with. So I'll put this into the container see what we get. Well that's not bad. So, hopefully you can see that. 0.9 of a volt. In fact that's actually more than we're getting out of the lemon battery at the moment. I don't know if we can measure current without having a load on there. Oh. Yeah, so that's, according to that, about uh, one and a half, oh, am I right, one and a half amps? One, about one amp, that can't be an amp, can it? Milliamps we're talking, aren't we? Yeah, that's the 200 milliamp scale. So we're getting about one milliamp out of there at the moment. It's dropping a bit. We're getting something out of there. So, back to voltage. So it actually went right up to 0.9 and now it's dropping back a bit. What I want to do is try these instead. So I'll disconnect my uh, whatever it was, zinc nail and copper wire, and connect that up instead. Right, we'll work on the assumption that this has got some sort of copper content, because it's coloured copper. And we'll hope this is some sort of zinc content. something. It's less less voltage than before. 0.69. They're not fully immersed in the electrolyte. 
but the idea is we should have quite a large surface area now in contact with the electrolyte. So let's see what we're getting. And we're getting about twice the millivolts. That's interesting. What's really interesting is that's now showing negative. So whatever these metals are, they're the reverse of what I had before. But we're getting we're certainly getting more current out there. So that's interesting. The current is generated by the amount of surface area. So that's what we've got. We've got a lot of surface area and we're getting much more current. But whatever those metals are, we're getting less voltage. So there we go, that's an experiment with electrolytes.